So we are here after the first round of the Deutschland Grand Prix of the Sparkassen Chess Trophy 2022. And I'm here with Luke McShane, who won a nice game against Matthias Blubaum. Congratulations, Luke. Thank you. You, you got an opening with the Russian defense and it seemed pretty solid for black, but somehow in the middle game, here we have the position after 60 moves, you squeezed out a little bit, yeah? Yes, uh, uh, I, think, I think the most important feature uh, of, of this position is that uh, uh, I have um, uh, an opportunity after, after king f2, uh, knight g7, uh, bishop f4, mm -hmm. I have this opportunity to trade the dark square bishops. Um, and by contrast, uh, because I control the f5 square, it's much, it's, it's, it's pretty difficult for black to uh, trade the light square bishop. Yeah. Um, and that, uh, that gives me a kind of uh, long-term uh, uh, advantage. Um, so knight e6, knight takes e6, bishop takes e6, rook e1, um, rook e8. Very kind of pretty, uh, yeah. pretty simple. And the problem is that you can no, never go to f5. Exactly, like, yeah? black uh, uh, would like to would like to trade some pieces, but it will always come at a serious cost to the yes. pawn structure. Um, and uh, so, okay, I have time to double my rooks. Bishop d7. Uh, okay, let's uh, now take the chance to improve the knight. And now, uh, well, okay, this is uh, a. a Possible moment for Bishop F5. All right. And uh, I have to remember what I was uh, was was planning in this position. I think I wanted to play Knight F4. And now, uh, if Bishop takes D3, Knight takes D3, Knight F5. Um, probably, I can I get a chance to uh, take this. Uh, take this pawn on d5. If um, you would take here, then g4. Yeah, knight takes, knight takes h4. Yeah, well, maybe g4, or also I could uh, could could consider rook d7. Okay. Um, maybe, I'm not sure if that's working here. Uh, okay, I thought the position was, was quite promising, but I actually yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, some opportunities because of the knight, yeah. I, I, exactly, I, I don't remember exactly my intention. Okay. Um, so yeah, knight e2, uh, as it was, uh, uh, everything kind of continued um, without, uh, without any, any big drama. So g3, and now, uh, okay, so the, 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 the basic point is that now if black plays bishop f5, I, I take and uh, I can take uh, the pawn on h5, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm just collecting uh, a pawn like this. Yes, one pawn uh, up. So after bishop c8, um, well, I thought uh, uh, perhaps he's, I don't know, something maybe with rook d6, or I, I don't know. I think um, he's kind of waiting, so I, I thought I should uh, maybe open a second second front. Um, a5, b4. Um, it's These are beautiful clear. moves, yeah, just improving your position exactly. because he's passive. E ex exactly. Um, uh, this, this, uh, and, and, of course, if he doesn't play a5, then I might push my own pawn mm. and... You know, lots of little things for yeah. black to, to worry about. So takes, takes. And now um, this was uh, the critical moment when he, when he played knight f5. Um, it was, uh, yeah, one, one of the important ideas is that if black plays bishop f5, mm -hmm. I play a5, bishop takes d3, knight takes d3. And now um, this structure on the queen side is, is very favorable for white. For example, after knight f5, I can play rook takes e8, rook takes e8, rook takes e8, king takes e8, knight c5. And now if black plays knight d6, um, it looks like uh, black is holding the queen side, but uh, actually wow. actually not. <laughs> I take on b7, That's and pretty, uh, yeah. after a6, um, the, pawn, the pawn can't be stopped. Very nice. Um, so coming back to this position, uh, this, yeah, this, this structure has kind of improved uh, uh, for, for white. Yeah. Um, he played knight f5, which uh, uh, perhaps it perhaps it was a mistake, but uh, he can't kind of wait forever, and I don't know yeah, what yeah. Uh, what was what was better. Um, and now I had a, a long, uh, my first I think really long think of the game because I was I was tempted to uh, trade all of the rooks, and um, this kind of end game I was trying mm -hmm. to trying to judge what my winning chances here yeah. were. Uh, 
I thought it was some quite uh, quite good chances, um, but uh, uh, after all, I decided that what I did was was more even better, more yeah. promising. Yeah. Um, so bishop takes f5, knight and takes h5. And again, this much of such a take it, on h5. Exactly. Yeah. So his the reason he has done this at this moment is that now he can play bishop. Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, pardon me. Uh, he, he he took the rook first. First taking and then, and then bishop c2. Taking your pawn. So he's winning the pawn back on yes, uh, but. Uh, now I have this opportunity to play knight h5, bishop takes a4, and then g4. Um, and, uh, well, material is equal, but this knight on f6 is extremely strong because yep, yep. it means that, uh, for example, after bishop b5, king e3, if black ever tries to activate the rook, then, well, the rook simply has to stay on the back rank because, because for example, mating, mat, g5, mat. you know, rook a4, rook e8, and it's always going to be it's always going to be mate. Yes. He, so, uh, so he played. So basically, B6. you thought that you are already winning here in the game, or? Well, uh, I think the position is should be winning for white with with best play, but you still have to win the game. Yeah, sure. Um, and. Uh, well, my knight looks very nice, but how do I, uh, mm. uh, you know, push it? Um, B6. Uh, so, oh, okay. G5 was a blunder. Okay. According to the engine, okay, you want to play F4, F5, and okay. maybe open up. So I had a nice idea here. But you played F4 afterwards, yeah? I, first. I play, yes. Okay. I, my, my idea was to play King F4. And then I thought he might sacrifice a pawn to okay. get some activity and then uh, I was thinking about playing king g5 and going for mate or what? king h6 d3 king h7 uh, d2 king h8, king h8 <laughs> d1 queen knight h7 mate um, winning a brilliant surprise it <laughs> would, have, would have been would have been great but somehow I I, I, I guessed that uh, it would go wrong some, somewhere. I mean, um, for example, black could try bishop d7, and now if uh, I do the same mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm too slow. Yeah, or maybe um, rook d6 also? Uh, I don't know. Ah, well, yeah, maybe rook d6 is, actually rook d6 is, uh, is, much, uh, is much better, you're, you're right. Um, so so can, it can go wrong for exactly. white. Exactly, <laughs> I, I, I kind of, uh, you know, you, you, you daydream sometimes during during games, and this is what I was daydreaming about. Yeah. Okay, I played g5 um, and bishop c4. I okay, engine says that this was the only chance for black not to go c5 some, somehow. I mean, so I... I, I, uh, I uh, well, I considered it, but I wasn't... I wasn't very worried about it. I think I was maybe planning to take on d5. Mm. Uh, takes, knight takes, and now maybe something like bishop c6, knight takes b6, c takes b4, Okay. And d5, something up like in this. the end game looks good. Yeah, I, I wasn't 100% sure about it, but, but it looked yeah. quite sure. promising. Um, so maybe we can show until the type control and I think then you were much better. Yeah, bishop c4, f4, c5, takes, Tw takes, takes. Trying D4. to get anything, he gave away a pawn, yeah? Yeah, because if he if he, if he he waits forever, I will then play f5. Push f5, f5 and, f5 and, h5. and h5. Yeah. Um, so rook a8. And now, well, the problem is it's still a little bit, uh, a little bit difficult for me to, to finish off mm. uh, the game, but okay, rook e4. Yeah, you managed okay, to win the pawn. C1. Uh, but he, he came he came up with quite a clever idea to play to play king e7 and I, well I've won two pawns but my my king is terrible and yeah. and you know he, he's kind of coordinated his pieces and he's threatening to play rook a5 uh, and and somehow this pawn is not so easy to defend but mm -hmm. I I came up with this uh, quite nice idea of playing knight g8 king e8 repeating once yeah I, yeah I did this uh, like this and then playing c6. And now the idea is that if he plays rook a6, I can play rook d6 and okay. uh, just defend off. the pawn from the side, and, and the knight is uh, uh, guarding e7. Oh. Um, so, uh, so he played rook a8, um, knight f6, king e7, and then, yeah, this idea, knight d7. Um, and I think after this, 
uh, I was pretty confident that I was going to win. Yeah. For, for example, if he plays rook d8, uh, then I think I can actually even just win uh, pawn this, end game. this pawn end game quite comfortably. Yes. The, the, I think the simplest way to win is to play f5. Typical, yeah. And now if he takes on f5, uh, my uh, pawn, well, it's not strictly speaking too fast, but uh, this, this will be winning That's quite comfortably. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, so after rook a5. Well, rook a5. Um, King e2, then you put your knight to e5, yeah? Uh, knight e5, exactly. And. Okay. Uh, uh, and yeah, to be honest, n now there is not too much more, uh, not too much more to say. I just needed yeah. to be accurate for a few more moves. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, a very nice strategic game in the middle game. Thank very you. nice. Uh, Thank I you. hope you you like the stage here in Dortmund. Yes, for yes, playing. very 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 nice. Yeah, I'm uh, um, well. I'm I'm delighted to have uh, started with, started with a win. So okay. I'm, I'm yes. Yeah, feeling, feeling good. Thanks, yeah. thanks for your time and uh, looking forward to see you Th tomorrow. Thank you very much.